Hi there, it's Annie Boo. How are you? It is January 5th, and this is my first time this year in 2022 that I am going to go into the Dollar Tree, located in Cranston, Rhode Island, on Atwood Avenue. So I don't know what's in there. I've been watching other ladies do their um, Dollar Tree things, and... Um, I'm just wondering, this is probably one of the best um, Dollar Trees that I know of, and so I always like to go in there. Um, and I am looking for things to use in my scrapbooking and journaling project. So let's go in, and um, I'm not sure if I'll do the video in there or just show you my purchases, but I will figure it out. It's Annie Lou. I decided to do my show and tell at home. There were a lot of people in the store and it was kind of noisy. And it is difficult to do filming when you're by yourself. I really need to recruit someone to follow me around. Well, I did get a lot of um, stuff, $35 worth. And I'm going to tell you a secret. Somebody told me a secret at the store that on um, today is January four so in five days so that'll be four five six seven eight nine january 9th the store on atwood avenue in cranston will be going to a dollar 25. so i'm glad that i picked up what i did and i spent a lot more than i usually do i spent 35 dollars let me let me show you what i got the first thing I'm going to show you is this notebook that I got, a dollar, right? And the reason I got it is because it has like um, a cardboard finish to it. It's not shiny. I am going to be using this as a, a bullet journal. Is that what they call it? A bullet journal. I've never done that before, and I'm going to give it a try. Now, these pages are very, very thin, so I am going to glue them together. Probably three. Every three pages I will glue together, and that will give me a sturdier page. So another item that I got for my um, bullet journal is this. It says, Make Today Count. Now, the reason I got it is because... Each month has its own card. So in my head, I'm going to put the month on each layout. And I don't have to have that big of a border. I can trim it down or I can just go down to the white. So I like to that. So another thing that I got were two Sharpies. And this is the um, ultra fine point. I also did get the fine point. Now, these are like $1.99, I think, in the store. So at Dollar Tree until Friday, they are a dollar. And the thicker ones, I believe I looked at CVS and they were $3.99 each. So I was walking down one of the aisles and I saw this. And as you get older, when you have, you know, work done in your mouth, you have a lot of things that you can't have anymore. I love bazooka bubble gum. I would die for a piece of bazooka bubble gum. And another thing that I love are the Twizzlers. So I am hoping that this tastes just like a real Twizzler. And as I walked further down the aisle, they had the Twizzlers. Now I can eat these as long as I don't chew them. I just have to like pretend it's a hard candy. So um, when my husband sees these, he's gonna say, you can't have those. I know. Let's see, per four piece serving. A serving is four Twizzlers and zero fat, no cholesterol, only three, well, 60 milligrams of sodium but sugars, 11 grams of sugar. You know, it isn't something you have to have every day. It's a treat. 
when you eat treats. You eat treats at the movies, and you eat treats on the beach, and you eat treats when your body says, I need a treat. So I'm going to do the Twizzler test. So we all know what that tastes like. Now let's see. Um, I'm so disappointed. It doesn't taste like a real Twizzler. And I got the Scotties. Scotties are a staple. I believe I got two boxes. A dollar each, really. I was in CVS and a lot of the shelves for the paper goods were empty saying that they couldn't get paper goods in because of a natural fiber shortage because of, you know, I don't know. You know, what is going on? What? Beets. I got myself some sliced beets. I'm going to put these in Italian salad dressing and let them ferment. And then you add them into your salads. Yum. So I got the Goya chocolate cookies. So to me, this too is a treat with a nice glass of ice, ice cold milk product of Spain. I can have five cookies. I always look at the uh, fat content. So 3.5 grams of fat. So that would be seven grams of fat for 10 cookies. So they're not bad. Um, at the end of the night, I like a little something, a little chocolate something actually. This is a garlic press and I have a garlic press, but what I like about this one is that it's very, very small. So you put your garlic in there, press it out. Now, you know what's nice about this one? Is that this comes out so you can wash it. There it goes. So that comes out, makes it easy to wash and clean. I have a bunch of things that need to go back to Amazon. I have some, but for a dollar, I bought a roll of um, tape it. Carton sealing tape. Yes. This is a gel polish remover tool. Um, when I saw it, I said, you know, those, those are good to have. When I get my um, nails done at the salon, you know, I usually, they usually last about a good two, two and a half weeks, and it's time for them to come off. And the last time, I had a hard time getting them off. And this is a tool that is gentle on your nails. So it's shaped like your nail, and you'd be able to push things off. Not that I need this right now, but every now and then, you need it. So I got it. So here's another something that I got from Crafter Square, and it's a stencil wheel. And this one has all of the numbers written out on it. And then there are some signs, some more signs. So I thought that would be great to use in my, um, my bullet journal. I like it. So this basket it might be a little close and the reason I got this is because it is wider than my trash can and it'll sit on the top of the trash can and not move now this does not match it says it's a pencil holder not match at all but I thought I could do this and I can put my pencils in here like my eyebrow pencils, my mascara, my eyeliner pencils. And then that way they'll be right there. And then I won't get them lost with the other stuff. So I wanted to show you my setup, what I was talking about. And um, this is good. This is very good. So in the middle, you can see I have my things in there. I'm almost standing up. Now what I was talking about, my waste paper basket, so here is my waste paper basket, and what I like to do is take that and just put it right across, and it can fit that way too. So I have everything right at my fingertips. Yes, 
Yes, I do. Something that I'm very excited about is I got these grow kits. They were a dollar each. So there's sunflowers, strawberries, a cone flower, which I never heard of, and a daisy. So I read the instructions. They all come with their own pots. And um, when I do these, I shall do a show and tell. It includes the pot, the seeds, a growing medium, and instructions. So I have yet to do my video using the small terracotta um, planters. And um, I'm going to decorate those. I'm going to paint faces on them. So I got another set. And these are from a different company. So, same sort of deal. You Just a necessity comment. You know, this is the um, one pound, five ounces. A dollar. It's going to go up to a dollar twenty-five. And it's still worth it. Because at the store, I think they're close to three dollars. So I just dropped this. It is the jock tape. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the only tape to buy is scotch tape, right? Everything else aggravates me, but yeah, it doesn't, it's not as nice as the scotch tape. And they do have scotch tape at the um, Dollar Tree. Safe God Liquid Hand Soap Refill for 22 ounces, a dollar. Really? This was a deal. Even at $1.25, this is still going to be a good price. So there was one of these. So this is a heavy cotton t-shirt. And the reason I got it is because it's a v-neck, which my husband likes. And um, it was a dollar. Are you kidding? So I have one last thing. And these are Surefresh, which is the Dollar Tree brand of storage bags. Now there are five bags in here and they have a slider seal. What am I going to do with this? I am going to show you how to pack your clothes in here. Those packing cubes, you don't need a packing cube. You just need these plastic bags. So I will show you how to condense your clothes for easier packing. I met someone at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm getting a little bit more brave now by passing out my cards, asking people to subscribe to my channel. And she was really sweet. And when I was outside getting into my car, she was parked right next to me. So we chit chatted. She said she would subscribe. And dummy, dummy me, so rude. I didn't even ask her what her name is. Not nice, Annie. Really not nice. Can I put you on YouTube? Yeah. Hi. So here's my new friend that I met in Hi. Dollar Tree in Cranston. I will see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Like and subscribe. And didn't, right. didn't we hear a secret? Can you tell it? In five days. In five and days. It's an end of an era. Yes, it is. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And please share, like, comment. I would appreciate that. You take care. Bye-bye.